All right, what up? Show y'all a little subtle thing I found out. Call it, you know, boulder extend. I don't know what I'm gonna call it, so call it that for now. Uh, but normally this is your boulder. You do shift two. You know, does a hard break. If you do it on no guard, it's gonna knock them away. And you can actually extend. Well, normally you can extend off of M1s too, like this. All right, that works. But you gotta M1 them, which is not happening. You can also do this extent I found, which is if you just raw, if you just land the rock, no matter what, you can do a combo off of it. And it's a little tricky to do it this way, so I'll explain how to do it and the timing, but it should look something like this. Right there, alright, cool, you get the point. Um, it's, it's sometimes full red stun. The thing about the dummies though, they're not always the best to like show you off that because of like ping uh, but it should work most of the time I did it on the positive dummy I didn't get hit a single time all right cool all right, time. all right well he and one there so I guess if they're smart enough they could block it I don't think it's something you could do all the time maybe uh, but I've I've done a full red stun on it it's definitely possible it's just that timing is extremely hard uh, but I'm going to show you all how to do it. And it's not as simple as just like, you know, you do this and then that. Yeah, that's awful. No. Alright, cool. Yeah, you can't. Alright, screw this. See, that's exactly what I mean. You can't just like boogie into your rock because that's going to cause a whole bunch of problems and it's just not consistent. Uh, but the way you do it is you got to first learn the timing. So the way the rock works is wherever the rock hits it's gonna go a little bit past them so the hitbox is gonna stop maybe like here and it, it'll just stop flat it's not gonna roll so it's gonna stop right there and then the dummy is gonna start having some knockback to it basically the rock is gonna go here and the dummy is gonna be in front you gotta wait for the dummy to get behind the rock here so you gotta wait a tiny bit uh, before you activate your boogie and I guess the next tip is you have to, I guess, aim towards the ground. Because if you're going to aim at the rock, you're going to have a higher chance of hitting the dummy uh, with your boogie. And, you know, if you hit the dummy, you're just going to swap the dummy out and not be able to combo stun. And the most important thing about it is the second or like the frame that you finally switch, you want to do a up tilt dash. Pretty much you want to close the distance as best as you can because if you don't dash into them they're just going to get out of it i'll show you again all right see right there i was a little far away and it's uh because i was looking straight on i wasn't looking down more so the more down you look uh, the better chance you have of just targeting the rock let me show you here so if i look here all right i'm going to be looking at let's see if I can get this off oh if I look straight on, it's going to probably target the dummy too. If I look down more, it's a higher chance of me not targeting the dummy. So you want to look down when you're doing it. And all you pretty much do is just swap rock with you. You dash into them and up tilt. And you just make sure the uh, dummy is behind the rock. That's mainly it. Uh, it's just a little tricky with the timing. But yep, see right there, I had the dummy on. Probably a better example right there. Yeah, so that's I guess the best way to show you. I'm pretty sure you can confirm a hundred off of it. Uh, I don't want to really test that out right now, but yeah, that's the uh, tech I found out. All right, cool. Bye bye.